Hey guys, I'm here with a video to give you guys a review of these erasable colored pencils from Crayola. Now I've already kind of did a review of these on um, a live stream, excuse me, a live stream and I um, did a review of these pretty much but I just wanted to make a video for you guys that you can reference easily. So I was able to try out both colored pencils. Now I'm gonna go ahead and say these, the erasable twistables are horrible. I mean, they are so waxy and they just, the color payoff, they wouldn't even work in one of my coloring books you know so and this is the green one this is light pressure it, they're very waxy this is medium pressure very streaky and this is hard pressure yeah that's that's horrible <laughs> it's really really bad guys this I would not repurchase these now I've heard a lot of people say that they like the Crayola twistables those I'm sure are great, but the erasable ones, not good guys. Super, super waxy. Now the regular colored pencil erasable ones, I like these a whole lot better, okay? And I, this is what I tested them out over here. They compare more to the regular Crayola colored pencils. They're not as good but they are better than the twistable erasables. And they erase very well, very, very well. So what I was saying in my review before was that they would be very, very, very good for sketch artists. I wouldn't recommend these too much for coloring books, although I do have a few coloring books here to try them in, but mostly for a sketch artist who you know, just wants to do some sketching. Let's try to draw an orange here. You know, they're, they are perfect for a sketch artist. You know, so, hey, we got an orange. Give a little shadow right here. And even even for a sketch artist, I wouldn't I would not recommend these to um you know I wouldn't recommend these to color in your pages with, even if you're just sketching with them. And this is regular orange that was yellow orange. Because they don't color the best. And the type of paper. I tried these pencils out on um, my Fabulous Floral paper, and that paper is very, very slick and smooth. These did not work on that paper at all. But my little sketchbook here, the paper is more toothy. So they perform a little bit better on toothy paper, okay? So slick paper is completely out, completely out, out of the question for these pencils. So if you're a sketch artist and you're going to need the, the ability to be able to erase things and all that good stuff, you may as well go ahead and pull all of them out here. Then yes, I will definitely recommend these pencils. And they layer pretty okay, pretty good. But as you see, I still see a lot of the white area on my paper and it's actually peeling off the paper my goodness so yeah coloring with these not the best and it's actually a oh, while wow. by layering it's kind of peeling the color off the paper so yeah wouldn't recommend these to color with <laughs> so okay but to sketch with yes okay yes sketching color pencils erasable that will work so let's try it in a couple of books. 
let's see first and foremost we have Johanna Bassford's secret garden book this one the paper is pretty I don't know I guess you can say it's kind of smooth yet kind of toothy so I don't know what you would really consider this paper but um yeah let's see um hmm let's try it on this paper this paper page here let's see what happens let's try a green okay let me zoom you guys in so you can see what I see and let's try this leaf right here okay not the best okay I'm using pretty light pressure and it's kind of mm, it's just let's let's use another layer let's see if another layer nope layering is completely out this paper is definitely too smooth so erase that not working in Johanna Basford's book paper is too smooth all right let's try this tranquil serene and tranquil coloring book okay this paper quality is mm, you would say kind of kind of smooth too so let's just try right here okay that's one layer that's two no I don't like it either this is a little smooth too a little too smooth so that's a no-go for that one so smooth paper for these pencils definitely a no all right let's try more of like a card stock type paper all right so let me try this little leaf right here that's a little bit better but not the best not the best I've seen and there's definitely no layering going on definitely we will be no layering nope and then it doesn't even erase good off of cardstock like paper that's a no last test will be in this home sweet home coloring book by Kappa and you know what type of paper this is guys this is your basic pretty much kind of um, what do you call it almost like copy paper I'll try it on this page here oh that's giving a horrible lay down guys can you see that no nope 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 no you see that that's like medium pressure let me try soft pressure right here no let's try some hard pressure right here no okay so final 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 review of these pencils they are not good to color with <laughs> In, in pretty much any book but they are great to sketch with okay because when you're sketching you may need to erase something so that's what you got so that's my review of the erasable colored pencils both kind the twistable ones are worse than these I, you probably can't even hardly sketch with these but these good for sketching okay so that's the end of this video, guys, and thanks for joining me. Hit the like button, subscribe to my channel, and just, hey, keep coming back. Let's keep coloring and having a great time together, okay? So have a wonderful rest of the day, guys. Have a wonderful, wonderful, wonderful rest of the day. Okay, bye.